How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at custom enchants. So this is going to be probably a little bit longer of a video because there's lots that I kind of need to go over and a lot that kind of has to be implemented into this for custom enchants to sort of work. So there are a couple of ways you can do this. Um, you can do it the way that I'm going to do it today where you actually make a class and have it extend enchantment or you can really just do a simple fake enchanter which uh, you just add some lore to an item and then you check you make a you know a checker that checks to see if that particular lore exists inside of uh, inside of the item um, but today I thought I would do where you extend the enchantment um, yeah so once again all the code will be available to you guys on github so go over there and check it out but the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and obviously just create a public void on enable and then we're going to create a method uh, here called load enchant enchantments so we'll just create that for now but then we also want to go ahead and say get, get server I, I can type really good get server the get plugin manager the register events and we're going to say this and this and make sure your main class implements listeners and extends Java um, so let's go ahead and create load enchantments here and we are good in this for now because we can't really do much else so then we're going to go go ahead and create a new class and we are going to call this one uh you can call this whatever you want you can actually call say the particular enchantment you want so say you wanted to do oh i don't know like um on on hit explosions or something like that you could go ahead and you know name it uh on hit explosions or explosion enchantment um, whatever you plan on doing with your particular enchantment right so I'm just gonna call my custom enchantment um, just to make things really really easy here and this is going to extends enchantment and implements listener so we'll go ahead and org uh, org, dot org bucket enchantment and then we want to go ahead and say public custom enchantment and the enchantment is going to need an ID and then we're just going to say super ID and now we'll go ahead and hover over this and we'll add unimplemented methods this will save us a ton of time so this is everything that is going to be related to enchantments right so we want can the enchant items so you're gonna want that we'll just put that as true we're gonna say it can enchant items and then the rest of this for the most part you don't really have to fill anything in um, besides things like max level you're gonna want a max level set there we're just gonna set ours to two um, we want the start level to be one and we want the name to obviously be a name we don't want it to be something we don't want it to be nothing right because we want to have we want our enchantment to be named something so we'll say um, explosive um, what do you want to call it it's gonna be an uh, we're gonna create an explosion uh, on hit explosive touch we'll call it okay so pretty much that is all you really have to do inside this class um, there's not a whole lot else um, we also want to do one one more thing here and we want to go ahead and say it doesn't matter where you put it we'll just put it up here next to the ID want to say override I almost forgot about this we want to say public 
public int get ID because we want to give it an ID and we're just going to return and we'll set it as 101 because um, I don't believe there there is anything above that but you can only set up to 256 um, so just from re just remember that so don't try to like make it like 1001 or something crazy all right so we'll get rid of all these to do's because we don't actually need to do anything inside of these um, you could if you wanted to um, but we're not going to because we don't really need to okay so the next thing we have to do is we're gonna go back to our main enchantments here and now this is where things kind of start getting a little bit confusing and there's kind of a lot that goes um, with it so in our load enchantments here we're gonna say try and we're gonna say try again and we're going to say field field or F equals enchantment dot class and we have to get a declared field so we're basically getting a field from the, the, the enchantment class itself and we're going to get the accepting new which is basically going to allow us to add new enchantments into the game and we're going to set this accessible as true and then we're going to go ahead and say f dot We're going to go ahead and say f.set and we're going to say null and true and then we're going to go ahead and end this and we're going to say catch exception e e.print stack trace okay and now that that's done then we want to go ahead and get rid of that there I don't know why I don't know why I have two trues or two tries set up inside of here then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create another try statement here and we're gonna say enchantment dot register oops okay so then let's go ahead and say we didn't need the other try we're gonna go ahead and say try enchantment dot register enchantment and we're gonna say enchant not sure why that's not working just yet but we probably need to import it and we can't yet uh, and then we'll end this and then we'll say catch exception e and we're gonna go ahead and say e.printStackTrace okay and now we need to do one more thing here um, well a couple more things but we have to go up here and we need to say public custom enchantments or enchantment and we're just gonna say enchant equals new custom enchantment and we'll give it our ID which is a hundred and one and I'm not sure why this one oops I'm not sure why that's not working ah because we're missing one catch here and this is this is actually this one right here so we'll just copy and paste that this one here actually has to be illegal argument exception I spell that right change to illegal argument exception there we go <laughs> that's what it's supposed to say so this uh, oh that's why because I, I imported the wrong enchantment so make sure you import the bucket enchantment because um, that's when you're gonna need and so the next thing we have to do here is there's a problem with um, when you try to restart um, the server with your custom enchantments if you have it on items um, you might crash everybody that's on there um, for the reason I'm not quite sure basically Minecraft is just saying hey that doesn't look right and it gets rid of everybody so what we're gonna say is we're gonna say try and this is kinda long here we're gonna say field and we're gonna say by ID field equals enchantment dot class dot get declared field and we're gonna say by ID and I just want you to know this method right here I did not come up with I will link below hopefully I remember to who made this uh, this right here um, I don't remember his name off the top of my head but I will try to remember to put his link in um, so this section right here is not my code by any means 
Um, and then we're going to change by ID here. We're going to say by name. And we'll just put this catch right here so we can so we can get this all set up and we'll just say exception ignored. Okay. And then we want to say by ID field dot set accessible true. And then we'll say by name field dot set accessible true. Okay. And then what we want to do, ooh, excuse me, I burp. We'll just go ahead and say, we'll add a at suppress warnings and we'll get uh, unchecked here. Okay. So now what we want to go ahead and say is hash map. This is going to be integer enchantment. And it's going to be by ID equals hash map integer enchantment and this is going to say by ID field dot get null okay so basically we're just creating a, a hash map that has our enchantments and their IDs in it and we're going to go ahead and copy and paste this and we'll change this to by name and then we will change this to by name and the next thing we're going to go ahead and say is we're going to say if by oops if by id dot dot contains key and we're going to say enchant dot get id because we want it to be the id of the enchantment we're going to say by id dot remove and then we're going to say enchant dot get id and then we want to say if by name dot contains key and then we're going to say enchant dot get name you don't really have to do both of these um, but it's always just good to do both just to be sure that it's completely removed um, you know, better to be safe than than sorry most times. Okay, and now we remove that one, and we already have our catch there. So everything here is all set, and now we do want um, a basic. Um, we're just gonna do a basic on join here, um, just so we can go ahead and create an item and so that way we can give it to the player uh, once they join the server here so we'll just say on join player join event event and we'll import that and we're just going to go ahead and say player player equals event dot get player you guys should all know how to do this at this point uh, item stack item equals new item stack material dot diamond x uh, diamond x and then we'll say item meta meta equals item dot get item meta and then we will say array list this is for the lore array list of strings this is lore equals new array list of strings and then we will say lore dot Add and now this is where we're going to actually add our um, where you know usually where it shows the enchantments in the items. This particular way doesn't show the enchantment in the actual item. It can have the enchantment, but it's not going to show up in the lore. So we just need to create a simple way here to go ahead and um, set it in the lore. There, I'm doing it the really a really easy way, but you could actually go ahead and make a whole class. Um, that looks at all your enchantments. You can have a class that, you know, loads all your enchantments, um, and then you can have a class that will look at all the items in the game. Um, and if an item contains that enchantment, you can have it set the lore so it has the lore of the actual enchantment. And then we're just gonna go ahead and say meta dot set lore, lore. And then we want to go ahead and say item dot set item meta meta. 
and then we want to go ahead and say item dot add unsafe enchantment and not a regular enchantment and ours is just going to be enchant and we're going to have it go off starting at level one i mean we only have a max level of two anyways um so just remember that and then we're just going to say player dot get inventory dot add item and it's just going to be item um and I guess we can go ahead and say meta dot set display name. We'll just say chat color dot gold explosive x just just to make things more interesting. And then in our custom enchant, we actually need to set up um, what's going to happen for this custom enchant. So you do this with basic events. Um, so we're just going to do it right here. We're going to say at event handle. We'll import that. We'll say public void on hit and I would recommend doing this inside of the actual enchantment class don't make a whole class that looks at every single enchantment it'll just be easier for you to keep track of um, your cut your events inside of your actual enchantment class so, so we're just gonna say entity damage by entity event event this is a really long event name I know go ahead and import that and then we'll say if event that get damager no damager and instance of player and we want to go ahead and fix this oh my goodness this is an instance of player and we want to go ahead and say player player equals player event dot get damager then we want to go ahead and say item stack main hand equals player dot get inventory dot get item in main hand because we want to know exactly what item is in their main hand we don't really care about items that are in their inventory because obviously you only want what's in their main hand to look at and then we want to say if main hand dot contains enchantment and this is how easy this is we can literally just go ahead and say this if it contains this enchantment we can go ahead and say player dot get world dot create explosion and the location is going to be event dot get entity dot get location because we want it to be at the location of the actual entity and then we'll do a power of one and no fire so we should be all set here to go ahead and export this. I, I have a custom plugin for it already and I made the YML. Um, so let's go ahead and reload. And we can see there custom enchants is loading and custom enchants was enabled. Let's go ahead and join our server. And when we first join, we should be given an ax. I might already have one from a video before. Yep, so let me just go ahead and clear my inventory, disconnect and rejoin. So look at that, we are given an ax and it has explosive touch and we were given our explosive axe and perfect we got a mob right here so we can actually go ahead and swing oh and it didn't work so why is that because we never registered this class we gotta go ahead and say this dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events and it's going to be new custom enchantment and it's going to be 101 or actually we don't even have to say that we can just go ahead and say we should be able to go ahead and say enchant and this because we don't want to register a new enchantment so we can just use that enchant above so now let's re-export this and now let's now let's find a mob or actually no we'll just spawn one just to save time here so we'll get donkey sure so we'll put a bunch of them here. So now we have explosive axe. We don't even have to reload because it can look at that and see that we already have that custom enchantment on there. And now every time we we hit, it, go, it goes ahead and it explodes on hit at the location. Um, I'm sure the player itself will take explosion damage. Um, so you can do some workarounds. You can do it as a chance so it doesn't always have an explosive touch. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys now know how to add a plethora of your own custom enchantments and you can have these enchantments do whatever you want
Um, you could have it so it tombs an enemy in ice. You can have it so it sets them on fire. You can have it so lightning strikes where they are. You can have it so it slows them. You can have it so it you know shoots them straight up in the air. The world is yours now, and I hope you guys will make some really cool custom enchantments. Also, just a reminder, guys, be sure to join our Discord because we are having a coding challenge right now, and the coder who wins will go ahead and win a position of advanced dev on our discord server and pretty much anyone who is staffed on our discord server will be staffed on our minecraft server which is going to be coming very soon so once again thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and be sure to check out uh the next video coming up on tuesday it should be pretty awesome and thank you guys for watching